Athletes Coach Blue here. One of the main questions we get here on Team Addict to Athlete is about buying running shoes. As you know, running is one of the core athletic experiences that we have on the team. And the only reason we do is because, let's face it, running sucks. It's a lot like recovery at times. When we run, it hurts, and then we get used to it, then we flow with it, and when we finish, we feel amazing. Same kind of concept as addiction recovery. But today I wanna to share with you a little bit about shoes. We get a lot of questions about, coach, what kind of shoes do I wanna wear? What kind of shoes do I wanna buy? It boils down to a personal preference, athletes. On Team Addict Athlete, a lot of us run with Ultra, and Ultra running shoes started about the same time Team Addict Athlete did, so we kind of feel like they're, they're on the same mission as us, so to speak. Uh, they promote natural running with their zero drop technology, but I need you to go on and try on as many shoes as you physically can to get the best fit because even in the world of running shoes, there's trail runners, there's more walking shoes, there's running shoes, there's support, there's all kinds of things. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a few items that I look for in a shoe, specifically with a shoe that I've got just recently and I'm super excited for because it's a second version of the very first trail shoe I ever bought, and that is the Ultra Lone Peak. Let's jump into it. Athletes, here we have the Lone Peak 4.0. This is kind of a, a rebrand of this specific color and, and scheme because 10 years ago, this was actually my very first trail running shoes. It's kind of a coveted thing. Maybe Coach Jensen will post a picture of the original, but it's got the same colors and the same kind of uh, material. But Beyond all that, how cool this shoe looks like on the outside, I have to tell you, when I first got my, my first Lone Peaks and I ran the Pony Express 50, um, I purposely did not wear those trail running shoes because I didn't want to get them dirty. That's the problem with Coach Blue here is I get all these, these newer shoes and never want to wear them because they look too good. I don't want to get them dirty. But this specifically is a trail running shoe. We'll do other reviews of some other shoes for road running and, and, and things of that nature, but Let's jump into this. Now, Ultra is kind of close to my heart uh, specifically because I love the guys that, that started it um, with Brian Beckstead and all those guys. But the cool thing about it is that they did something revolutionary. What they did as they both worked at the runner's corner, Brian uh, and Golden, is that they were kind of like looking at the shoes and how they all kind of began to pinch at the toe. And traditional toe boxes almost go into a point. Well, what they did is create kind of this open toe box. And the open toe box allows your foot to kind of spread open naturally as you're walking, as we should. When you wear things like Nikes and things of that nature, they typically kind of cut in a little bit tight and they squish that pinky toe over. And then when you're running long distances, the problem was they started finding, as you probably know, if you're running in some pretty you know, old, you know, kind of like uh, you know, pinching toe box type shoes, your toes can get hurt. So they opened their, their toe box and at first it kind of looked like a clown shoe. And so it was kind of an interesting concept, but they revolutionized shoe making because now a lot of other folks have copied them. The cool thing about Ultra too is that they go with a zero drop. That means there's not a lot of arch support through here. Now here's the deal. If you've ever read, read the book um, Born to Run, you'll find out that running shoes, specifically in the early uh, you know, 70s and 80s, they started coming out with lots of cushion in the heel, lots of cushion in the middle, tried to kind of mold your foot to your shoe and give you what's called arch support. That's great, but what ends up happening is your strides in your run get a little bit wider and more people begin to heel strike and then toe drop. Because you have so much cushioning back here, if you run fast like that and you're heel striking, all of that energy, all of that weight, all of that pressure hits your heel, goes up your legs into your spine and you start having back problems. What Alter did with the zero drop was kind of put ourselves into a more natural running state where we begin to ball drop first, much like you would if you took your shoes off and ran across your kitchen floor. I guarantee you, you will not be heel striking. You'll be ball striking left right underneath that big toe of yours. And what it does is it helps push you forward and get that natural alignment as if you were running naturally. So one of the things that drew me to Ultra was, was that specifically, but also because they just make really good shoes. The cool thing about the trail running shoes too is, uh, and a lot of people, especially when these first came out, they're like, what is this back here? It's gator trap. Well, what it is, is it's a cover for your shoe that goes over. Think of like a raincoat for your shoes, basically. It goes around your heel uh, on the upper here, kind of goes down and Velcro's here to the backside. And then the little loop in the front is a clip and it kind of slides onto that so that no dirt, rocks, debris get in there. So you're kind of like sealing off your ankle into your shoes. So that's what a gator is. But beyond that, what I really like about it too is, is they got the, the good grip. This is um, pretty sticky. I like it when you're running on trails and stuff, this is what you're gonna wanna do. If you're buying running shoes, doesn't matter if it's a trail shoe, doesn't matter if it's a, a road shoe. 
Um, typically, if you are a size, let's say like 10 and a half, like for me, because I'm a 10 and a half, I go for a size 11. You runners, you're gonna wanna know this. You're gonna wanna buy a shoe that's a half size bigger so that you have a little bit of room up there so that your toes can move a little bit, so that there can be uh, a little less jarring at the front because if you're constant, if you get a shoe that fits perfectly when you're running, you know, you, your foot kind of slides to the front a little bit, it'll start pounding on the front of the toe box and this is where you lose your toenails. Now, early on in running, there's lots of scary pictures. In fact, if you rewind uh, our platform all the way back on, on uh, Facebook, you'll see lots of people that lost their toenails because of the constant motion and hitting your toe to the front of your toe box. So if you're 10 and a half like me, you're gonna wanna go for 11. If you're a nine, say in a woman's shoe, you're gonna wanna go nine and a half. You're gonna wanna go a half size bigger because you wanna have a little bit of room. But here's the deal, right? You're a coach. If we get a shoe that's a little bit too big, won't our, won't our foot slide? Well, here's the beauty. And most of you have probably seen this now because social media picked up on this a few years ago. We've known this for a while. Now I want you to look right here. You'll see another ringlet here for, for your laces. A lot of people will just simply, you know, cross back over and they'll put it through and they'll kind of exit back over and they'll tie it as normal. That's not what this is for. The coolest thing about this is that if you take your, your lace up to the last second, you know, second to last one, and you simply just loop it in kind of like so. And I usually put my finger right here pull it through, you get this little effect, right? It's a little loop there. And you're gonna do that to the other side as well. So for the other side, right, same one, you're gonna push that puppy through, pull it through, put your finger there so you don't pull it all the way tight. It kind of looks something like this. You got these two little, these little uh, teddy bear ears going on. Then what you're gonna do, which I think is phenomenal, okay, is that you're gonna take your, your laces now and you're gonna simply put one through this side and one through this side, okay? So now you have something like this. Now when your foot's in here and you push your heel to the very back, when you tie your shoe in, it's going to lock in the heel to the back of your shoe. That way when you tie this, because as you see, what it's gonna do is bring that upper right around your foot, and then when you tie it, it's gonna lock your heel into place so that while you're running, your foot's not gonna slide. This is called the lace lock. Now you don't wanna do that on both of your shoes and I do it with all of my shoes now just because I find that I like that comfort. It doesn't slide around a lot. That's what this is for. Super easy to do. Rewind this if you need to take a look at it. When you tie your shoes, you're gonna pull your laces, you know, you're gonna pull your laces um, straight out, okay? So instead of pulling them like up top like this and, and tighten them, you're gonna pull them straight out and then you'll tie your shoe. Now, what I found is that it works really well, especially when you're trying to run trails. Um, works extremely well, even when you're running on road and pavement. So that's a little bit about this shoe. Um, it's going to be preference. Now, again, Team Active Athlete, we all, a lot of us run in, in ultra just because, you know, again, it's, 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 I had them a long time ago. Um, athletic Director Marissa had them. Um, you know, you know, guys know uh, athlete Heath Thurston down there in St. George. Heath was a part of Ultra when they first started. And so he got us into them and I've come to love the brand. But there are lots of different variations even in these shoes. So you're gonna wanna pick one that works for you guys. You're gonna wanna be able to try them on. A lot of shoe stores will let you try one on, go for a little run around the lobby there. And know that, that you're, you're, you're investing in your equipment. The reason why Team Addict Athlete does a lot of running is because relatively it's a cheap sport to get into, but you don't need the most expensive shoe to be able to have comfort to be able to run. We're gonna jump into a series of learning some running skills and techniques. At our meetings, we're gonna have some running clinics. Every Saturday, if you're in the Utah County area, we hold a, a beginner's running clinic, so check that out. And we'll be posting videos like this to get now into this sport and others. And uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Coach Blue at addict2athlete.org. Jump on our website, addict2athlete.org. Subscribe, like this video. We're gonna be pumping more of these kind of tip videos out. It's gonna help you be comfortable, be safe, get the equipment you need to help erase the addiction and replace it with things of greater value. And until next time, go turn that mess into a message.